The Dual Sword Dragon Hunter is a really fun build that sort of creates a new way to play the spec that we haven't really seen before. Offian Sword is a great melee power weapon that offers a mobility skill and some really nice damage. When paired with the Main Hand Sword, you just become very mobile. Mix this with a Dragon Hunter which has traps that damage and slow enemies, allowing you to teleport onto them with ease and lay down traps at their feet as well as the F1 Spear which can pull enemies back into your traps or into your shiny new pair of swords. All this comes together to create what I like to call the Ninja Dragon Hunter. To kick things off, let's talk about the gear. We take full Marauders with Runes of the Pack for increased damage and boon duration. For the Trinkets, I run full Berserkers with a Marauders Backpack. On the weapons, I take a Greatsword with Dragon Stats with Superior Sigil of Rage and Superior Sigil of Hydromancy. I pair this with two swords, both dragon statted. I prefer to use energy and cleansing sigils for these ones. For the relic, I opt for a dragon hunter's relic because it is just extra damage that is too easy to set up. For the traits, I went with virtues, radiance, and dragon hunter. Virtues will just make it so that when we use our F1 ability, we deal more damage as well as turning virtue 3 into a stun break. Radiance will help us reach 100% crit chance whenever we enter our burst windows. Dragon Hunter traits like Piercing Light will make it so that our traps slow enemies, making them more potent seeing as how not only are they stuck in our trap for longer, but they're also in Swords Reach. For my skills, I like to run Litany of Wrath, meaning that I'll be healing while I'm dealing damage, so I'd never have to stop and heal, there's no downtime, I just keep on pumping damage, because you are a little squishy on this build, but that healing just counteracts it and allows you to stay in the fight for much longer. On this build, I prefer to run two damaging traps. Test of Faith is an instant cast that will damage and slow anyone who walks in or out of it. Procession of Blades deals a lot of damage for anyone dumb enough to keep standing in it. And for the Elite skill, I like Renewed Focus as it is a nice immunity that acts as a reset for your position and your cooldowns. With that out of the way, let's talk about how you can start dominating on the melee Dragon Hunter. So Offhand Sword is a power weapon that pairs with the sword for great mobility. Having two weapon sets with melee power, meaning great sword and dual swords, gives you that melee Dragon Hunter playstyle that I feel is more rewarding and more fun to play than Longbow Dragon Hunter. Sword 5 sets up your spear really nicely. You teleport onto the target and you immobilize them. If this lands, you can attach your spear and lay down traps for basically free. And as they try to run away from your traps, what you do is you pull them back in and not only does the trap hit them and slow them, but it sets up for your sword 4 or other melee hits that are really easy to land because not only are they pulled and CC'd, but they're also slowed. The traps themselves are actually a lot easier to manage since we are melee, so if you didn't know the traps drop at your feet, so whenever you teleport onto someone, you're able to just place down a trap immediately and it will activate, it will give you your relic of the dragon hunter proc and trap them in this to where if they walk out, they'll take damage. If they don't walk out, then you're just going to keep on wailing on them with your melee hits. Not to mention, most of these traps are AoE, so if you're in outnumbered fights or in team fights, the AoE on the traps are really good damage and the AoE slow is some nice soft CC. It has tons of synergy with Dragon Hunter relics and runes as well. On the topic of AoE, let's talk about my PvP build. So I opt for the Marauder's Amulet with Relic of Dragon Hunter and Rune of Dragon Hunter. The traits stay the exact same. With this setup, I'm able to get 100% crit chance in all of my burst windows. See, the way Radiance allows us to get that 100% crit chance is by making it so that when we have Resolution applied, we actually gain more crit chance. The way we do this is by a few traits. We can get Resolution when we use a healing skill, or by using our F1, and even Greatsword 4. All of those grant resolution, and when paired with Fury, we're able to reach that 100% crit cap and deal massive damage. As well as 10% damage increase on pretty much everyone that's in the fight, because Relic of the Dragon Hunter will just mark everybody that's in your traps, and, seeing, and as you'll see here, we just jump into fights, lay down traps, do big melee damage. It's just really easy getting that 10% increase on everybody involved. And then for Rune of the Dragon Hunter, this gives a lot of extra crit damage that we will be using during our burst windows. I would run this for roaming as well if you don't want to use pack runes. They're just really expensive and I wasn't about to do that. In PvP, I like to run this build as a DPS team fighter. By using our Virtue 1, we will gain resolution which increases our crit chance. I then use my swords to teleport into the fight and lay down my traps which grants fury once active. 
so now we have 100% crit chance with Relic of the Dragon Hunter up on all of our targets. This is where I swap to Greatsword and start cleaving everybody down while my traps are still active. A lot of damage here and very potent. But that's not really what I would call a ninja about this build. You see, what I like doing is finding a kill target for my team, whether it be a support or a damage dealer. I teleport onto them with Sword 2 and immobilize them with Sword 5. I then latch on my spear and jump back into the fight. Using my spear, I pull them back into not only my traps, but my team as well. So now they are slowed and taking a ton of damage from me and my allies. This is that playstyle that I love so much, being able to single out someone and just burst them down, while swapping back to swords and having that mobility once again. The Ninja Dragon Hunter is a really fun build that I've personally really enjoyed since Open Master was added. Let me know down below what you think of this build. Do you like it? And what are some other builds that you're currently enjoying? All that and more below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.